Good morning and welcome to another Can Diagnostic video. In today's riveting episode, I'm going to show you how to read an MAM um, without the expensive cable that uh, Alien, Alien Tech try and sell you or anywhere else that try and sell you the, um, the, the special adapter for reading these particular particular wagons and it's incredibly simple you will not believe how simple it is so first of all we're going to use this connector I can't remember the, num the number of it uh, we're going to do away with the can we don't read MANs with can they are read via K line and um, for normal diagnosis however when we're going to read the maps with K tag or KESS in this case we need pin three. Now pin three, you have to excuse the mess, this is a bit of a, it's a parts wagon really, it's only here for parts. It's the third one across, okay? And that's what they call a vendor option, so it's only used, um, so you know, your, your car might not have that, another lorry may not have pin three. Pin three is usually absent in most things. Um, but in this case, what we're going to do, we need to use that. So we're going to use the yellow cable, which is K line, but we're not going to put it in pin seven, which is K line. We're going to put it in pin three. So obviously, Ding. it's a difficult one, and. I'm just going to do it. We're going to put the K line in pin 3 power in pin 16 obviously this is the bottom right no oh, I had to pause that because I'm not back handed with me left right so just to recap pin 3 we have got that connected to the K line the yellow cable pin 4 is to ground and pin 16 bottom right is a 24 feed do not get these cables wrong you do not want 24 volts going down the earth and you do not want 24 volts going down the diagnostic line right so we've got the ignition on and this happens to be a TGM 18240s by 300 horses um, so let me click OK as always ID first, make sure everything's fine. Yeah, we've got a battery on. Yes, the ignition's on. And there we are. Oh, yeah. Save the ID. We always keep the ID with the uh, with the file, with the reading file. And then go down to select reading. That's brought on. And from now on, it's the same procedure it is for anything else. So we've read it OK. Proceed to read. OK. Now for those that don't know, reading lorry ECUs takes a lot longer than it does um, cars usually. I think the last DAF that I read took nearly an hour. So we'll run this for couple of seconds just to make sure we start to pull data and the percentage going up so we'll come back in about 0 0.0 seconds for you that's quick isn't it so let's go to save the file how to share Say that properly in a minute. It is literally follow what's on the screen now. Completed. Now to write back to it, it's exactly the same. Instead of click read, you click write, select your file, load it back up. It is that easy. So don't get your pins the wrong way around and everything's sound. But until next time, 
Ta-da.